In Civilization, a 1991 strategy game, you lead a nation from the Stone Age to the modern era. You compete with other historical world leaders who will try to stick to their real-life behaviors. Gandhi, for example, just wants to stay peaceful. You see, leaders have a score which decides how aggressive they should be, and Gandhi naturally has the lowest aggression of any leader, 1 out of 10. When it's time to choose a system of government in the game, around the same time that nuclear weapons become unlocked, Gandhi will of course choose democracy. This further lowers his aggression by 2. And at this point we have to talk about how computers store whole numbers, or integers. When wanting to store a number, a computer needs to put aside a certain amount of space in its memory and decide whether or not the number can be negative. Let's use 8 bits of space for now and only handle positive numbers, which looks like this. Okay, but what happens if this space is full and you try to add one to it? This number is in binary, but we can switch the ones for nines to make it a bit more intuitive. Adding 1 will increment the number like usual, but this new digit would end up outside the allocated space, and since that area might contain something important, we can't just put a new digit there, so this 1 just disappears. And as you can see, our number is back down to 0. This is called integer overflow, and it happens if we try to increase a number above what we have space for. If we try to subtract from 0, the opposite will happen, integer underflow, and we will wrap back around to the highest number possible. Remember the aggression score that I mentioned? That's also stored as an 8-bit integer, and can only handle positive numbers. So when Gandhi's aggression score gets lowered by 2, it goes all the way around to the maximum possible value. This all means that around the time that nukes are unlocked in a game of Civ, peace-loving Gandhi suddenly gets an aggression score of 255 out of 10. This story has been well known for at least a decade, and Nuclear Gandhi is a famous bug in the game's community. The curious thing is that Sid Meier, the creator of the Civilization franchise, released a book in September this year, where he says that the bug never even existed and doesn't know where this story came from. At least it's an interesting way to learn some computer science.